Another horror story in Delhi. A five-year-old is raped, brutalized and left to die. The child was raped repeatedly in a room for two days. She was locked in a room and left to starve. No food or water. Perhaps most shocking, like in the Nirbhaya case, foreign objects were inserted into this child. These have now been surgically removed. But she remains in a critical condition. The next 48 hours are critical for this child. And it continues to get more shocking. The police allegedly offered 2,000 rupees to the family, it's an extremely poor family, to keep things quiet. The child's father says the police told him, thank God the child is alive. How callous can the police get? The man thought to be behind this is a 22-year-old labourer. So here's the bigger story. From December 2012 to April 2013, from Nirbhaya to this five-year-old, the rape of India's daughters continues. And there is more on police callousness. Confronted by angry protesters, the Delhi police ACP slapped a woman protester in the full glare of cameras at the hospital where the child was first being treated. But the Delhi police were quick to act. The additional commissioner of police, B.S. Ehlawath, has been suspended for slapping of that woman protester. But the images tell a clear story. Police brutality after a callous response to this particular rape. Callousness and then brutality have shamed the Delhi police. She is only five years old, but what she has lived through is the horror and trauma of being repeatedly raped, brutalized and left to die. She is now fighting for her life in Delhi's Ames Hospital, where she was moved for better treatment. Doctors at the hospital, where she was first brought to, are shocked by the brutality of the rape. We saw that we had a bottle of hair hair and hair hair bottle of 200 ml, a flat bottle. We had a bottle of hair hair and there were three pieces of candle. Denied food and water, the helpless child was locked for two days in a room right below where she was staying with her parents and a younger sister. She had gone missing on the 15th of April. She was found two days later, brutalized and bleeding in her neighbor's home. Her tormentor, a 22-year-old laborer who had moved into the room on the ground floor of the same building just eight to 10 days ago, he's now missing. This is the building in a very congested colony in East Delhi where that five-year-old girl had been living with her family. In fact, here you can see a row of six to seven rooms the girl and her family were staying in one of these rooms, which is of course now locked. This is where that horrific incident took place. Questions are also being raised on how the Delhi police handled this extremely sensitive matter. The five-year-old baby girl went missing on the 15th of April and was found two days later, locked up in a neighbor's house and unconscious. There are allegations from the family members of this girl that the Delhi police tried to bribe them to hush up the matter. <laughs> उन्होंने ये कहा जो कुछ खर्चे पानी के लिए रख लो मीडिया में बात फैलाओगे तो बहुत बेजती होगी very uh, powerful allegation coming from the family side this side uh, is the fact that they were they were almost thrown to a bribe uh, and they said that you know they rafa dafa kar do mamleko as what the family has alleged from the parents also yeah i mean I, i'm sure i mean you would appreciate the fact that the case was promptly registered by the local police so once we have registered the police and we have taken cognizance of an allegation of kidnapping of a child, there is no question of uh, putting it under the carpet. I mean, I don't, I don't think that both these, uh, both these two, thing, uh, two things go together. And as doctors were fighting to save the five-year-old at this East Delhi hospital, there was shameful police behavior on display outside, where angry neighbors and activists had gathered. An ACP caught on camera slapping a woman protester from Arvind Kejriwal's Aam Aadmi Party 
that protested all day, demanding the girl be shifted to a better hospital. As the shocking images flashed across all TV screens, red-faced Delhi police bosses moved swiftly, suspending the officer in question, ACP B.S. Alhawar. The five-year-old battling for her life, a tragic testimony to the fact that nothing has changed since the December shocker, as India's daughters continue to be raped. With Alok Pandey, Neha Khanna and Sonal Mehrotra, Vijay Kumar for NDTV. Well, in just the last little while, the Prime Minister has sent out a statement about what's happened in Delhi today. He says he's deeply disturbed by the shameful rape of the five-year-old girl. Police action against protesters is unacceptable. There is a need for the strictest possible action to be taken against erring officials. All possible medical care should be provided to the victim. Society needs to look deep within and work to root out the evil of rape. How often have we heard that before? Well, let me just go straight across now to NDTV's Alok Pandey, who's been covering the story throughout the day. Alok, in all of this, as this poor child, literally poor, she comes from an extremely impoverished family, struggles for her life, we saw the police acting in a manner which nobody would have expected after all the flak which they received in December. But you were there. What exactly happened? What provoked this incident of an ACP, a senior officer, slapping a protester in that manner? Well, yes, Vishnu, let me briefly talk about that. I'm also just going to move just a little bit and show you what's happening uh, outside AIMS before, before I talk about that. Uh, this is the main gate of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. You can see it's been totally taken over at the moment by a lot of media people over here. There's a significant presence of members of the Aam Army Party too. And there are a lot of cops to this side. If my camera person will just pan this side and show you these cops. Now, I want to talk about that incident that you are speaking about, Vishnu. The fact is that the Aam Army uh, Party members were creating a ruckus out there, but it does not justify in any way the behavior of the cops at that hospital. I was there, I saw it myself. There was a lady, there was a girl, she was trying to engage with the cops, but a senior cop of a designation of the person who has been suspended should have perhaps kept his cool. He did not. We all know what happened. I think we must be playing out that visuals. If we aren't, we have just shown them in the previous package. The man slapped that girl yeah, in no, full we're just force. Gonna, we're just going to play out those visuals promotion. right now. Uh, some, Carry on, Alok. Let's that. just care, play those visuals one more time so to, to refer to what Alok is talking about of that ACP slapping a protester because that just summarizes the carelessness which is marked today. But Alok, go ahead. Well, yes, exactly, Vishnu. That's what I was talking about. The fact is that there was a lot there was a lot of presence of police personnel there, but they were clearly not in control. They did not know how to manage this crowd. It is also true at the same time, I must point out that the Aam Aadmi Party particularly thought that this hospital was a political arena. They thought that they would go and create a ruckus there. But it could have been better managed. The cops could have done something else apart from what they did. This entire ruckus happened, Vishnu, when the East Delhi MP Sandeep Dixit came to that hospital along with Delhi Government Minister A.K. Walia. This is when a lot of the Aam Aadmi Party workers tried to go and engage with these two people. And that's when the police also tried to stop them from doing it. But at the end of the day, the situation could have been better handled. This uh, lady did not deserve to be slapped. And the police could have done a better job. There are no two doubts, uh, thoughts about it. But that is unfortunately what has happened. I think the only good news, Vishnu, all day today has been that this girl is perhaps a little better than what she was in the morning and she is now at the super speciality hospital the all india institute of medical sciences and not at the uh, mcd run swami dayanand hospital which is also a decent hospital but everyone knows that aims is much much better well there's a sense of deja vu as we say that uh, alok because even in the nirbhaya case there were days when we felt that she would get better uh, the, the nature of the attack which has taken place in the case of this five-year-old in many senses is as horrific. The fact that she is alive today is, is a miracle. For 48 hours, there was no food, there was no water. Are you getting any details at all, Alok, on the condition of this child? What are doctors saying about her chances for survival? Well, Vishnu, I can tell you that some of the things that have been done to this child are absolutely unspeakable. We'd perhaps not prefer not to talk about them on national television. But the thing is that this five-year-old uh, baby girl has been battered. Uh, she has been assaulted badly. She has been battered. Doctors are telling us that there is a glimmer of hope in the sense that they have operated around, uh, on this girl and they feel that her condition might just feel a little better. 
At the same time, they are saying that the next 24 to 48 hours are absolutely critical, Vishnu. And now doctors are keeping her under observation here at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. And these doctors are saying that they will observe her till tomorrow morning and issue a fresh medical bulletin at about 11 a.m. in the morning. At the moment, I think it is safest to say, Vishnu, that the condition of this girl remains uh, critical, but at the same time stable.